a ship gag, S H I P, was crowned the funniest joke. And we'll hear it this morning. Thanks, Sarah, for pointing this our way. Uh, albeit from CNN, who are still busy at work. Uh, the funniest joke from the Edinburgh Fringe uh, British comedian Mark Simmons wins the You and Dave joke of the Fringe 2024. A witty pun about a sailing trip has been crowned the funniest joke told at this year's Edinburgh Festival Fringe. Now, if you're a comedian, stand-up, this must be amazing to get that accolade. Thousands of performers flock to Scotland's capital each year to entertain and delight crowds at the Fringe. British entertainment channel You and Dave, owned by British broadcaster UK TV, has handed out the funniest joke of the Fringe Award for the last 15 years. So let's see what those top 10 jokes were this year. I think we should come back uh, to that number one joke in reverse order. Now, I think I created this joke a long time ago, but Olaf Falafel, the brilliantly named Olaf Falafel, said the conspiracy theory about the moon being made of cheese was started by the Illuminati. He's unruffled. So far, Lee is unruffled. Joke number nine. My partner told me that she'd never seen the film Gaslight. I told her she definitely had. That's Zoe Coombs Ma. I can't, I'm just popping back to see your face. Not, not funny for Lee, that. Um, okay, Masai Graham. I wanted to know which came first, the chicken or the egg. So I bought a chicken, then I bought an egg, and I think I've cracked it, Lee. No, can you hear me? It's the Edinburgh Fringe. It's shocking. These these comedians pay to be there. There's these a reason they. Pay to be there. Come on, I think you're you're setting the bar a little bit too high. We've got seven more jokes to go. Maybe you're you're maybe you're saving yourself. Um, Chelsea Berkeley. British etiquette is confusing. You might you might like this. British etiquette is confusing. Why is it highbrow to look at boobs in an art gallery? Lowbrow when I get them out in weather spoons. Lee, come on. Um, well, come on. Can you tell me a decent one and then I might giggle. All right. Six more to go. <laughs> Olaf, Olaf Falafel, he's in there twice. My dad used to say to me, pints, gallons, litre, which I think speaks volumes. Okay. That's uh, quite no, witty. That's into quite witty. The, into the yeah. top five now. Mark Simmons, I love the Olympics. My friend and I invented a new type of relay baton. Well, he came up with the idea and I ran with it. <laughs> Actually, your face is funnier than some of these jokes. <laughs> Arthur Smith, the great Arthur Smith. I sailed, through, <laughs> I sailed through my driving test. That's why I failed it. <laughs> right. Into the top three. Alex Kitson, eight horse at a restaurant once. Wasn't great. Starter was all right, but the main was dreadful. Lee the main, M A N E. <laughs> Top two now, Alex Snook. I'm laughing at you laughing. It's that bad. <laughs> I'm laughing at me laughing as well. I, I've been, I've been taking salsa lessons for months. Now I want you to use at least one of these and then send me a picture of the person laughing, <laughs> or you and them laughing. Um, this might be the one. I've been taking salsa lessons for months, but I don't feel like I'm progressing. It's just one step forward, two steps back, Lee. <laughs> and the winner, the winner, Mark Simmons. I was going to sail around the globe in the world's smallest ship, but I bottled it. <laughs> Is that the best energy we've got? <laughs> oh dear. Just think, just think of all those poor Americans that have paid a fortune to go and watch the fringe and have to listen to that rubbish. <laughs> when they could have just waited. I feel so sorry. For me. So sorry. That's a, 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 an apology from Lee on behalf of the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. <laughs> uh, Lee, come on, was some of the commentary during that. 